Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live commentary part of the episode. Um, and I'm going to show you guys all the post commentary um, gameplay commentary in it, etc. In three, two, one. Okay, welcome to the post commentary part of the episode where we begin heal the game away to Sunderland. Hopefully we could try and pick up a win. And that's thank you to you guys to support on the last episode of the series in the January transfer window. Hopefully them signings we make can push us and hopefully try and get promoted to the Premier League. But each game is important now. Three points up for grabs every single game. And we start here with Sunderland away. Let's see how we can do. Chance of a Sunderland inside the box. Might be able to get a shot off, maybe. Turn shot while blocked. Burns cuts in. Where's Burns? Threading it through. Kifo Moore. Chance here for Ipswich. More good save from Patterson. Broadhead. Saramentino inside. Saramentino. Shot save. Corner kick, Broadhead delivers the ball in. Clark with the header off the crossbar. Cameron Burgess straight at the keeper. And that's half time. Nil nil. All, Sunday, all uh, Ipswich so far in the final 20 minutes. Broadhead inside. Burns draws the ball across. Moore's there in the middle. And Ipswich finally get their goal. Kiefer Moore. 1 0 Ipswich. Broadhead. In down the right side. Great opportunity. Playing it on. Moore into Burns. 2-0. Ipswich. Ipswich taking advantage of all their dominance and possession and chances we've created. 2-0. Burns with the goal. Oh, Moore immediately wins it back here. Moore. Broadhead. Chance for 3-0. 3-0 Ipswich. Absolute dominance. Nathan Broadhead. 3-0. <clears throat> Full time, 3 0 lip switch. One of the results of the series, in my opinion, so far, this result here to be away from home is so dominant. Score three goals, keep a clean sheet as well, and restrict the home side, who do have one of the best players in the league, and Jack Clark has been phenomenal. Fantastic win here, 3 0 win. A next game of the episode here is going to be against Leeds United, one of the promotion favourites and a heavily rotated team, surprisingly, for as Sam Tickle gets his first EFL Championship start in net. Ranky Costello makes his debut here for Ipswich. Wolf Fedden returns back to the side and Amari Hutchinson comes in as well. A lot to play for here. Come on, Ipswich. Let's see how we're going to fare here against one of our promotion rivals, Leeds United. But we are still level on points with Norwich at top of the table. Leeds United now edge of the box. Jay and Anthony. Ruta. Ruta. Shoot across goal. And no chance there for the keeper. 1-0 Leeds United versus Ipswich. Ruta with the goal. Costello making a good run down the right side. Joe Rankin Costello here. His first real moment as an Ipswich player hits the post. Close. They try and dink a ball in. Well, fed and rises. And he gets the goal. 1 1. Chance here. Shackleton. Piru. Shot blocked. Rebounds to James. And Leeds United retake their lead. 2 1 Leeds. Into the leads, they cut out Ruta and Padu with the strike, tickle with the save. Some of Iol, the substitute. What a save from Tickle, but unfortunately, couldn't do anything about the rebound. And it looks like we're going to suffer defeat here to Leeds United. 3 1. Burns might be able to pull one back. Burns, great save. Drilled down the right side, playing a ball. Sarmentino. 2-3 in the 86 minute. Is it a little too late? But Burns does so well to kick the ball in play and drill the ball across. And Sarantino, who I have been suggested in the comments to actually get on a permanent basis. I got another goal. Forward here. Cuts in. Oh, my days. Burns does so well. Burns needs an option. Plays into Hurst. Hurst is in. Oh, he's offside. Oh, that must be really tight right there with Hurst. Yeah, and he's off. He's a, well, almost a foot off, actually. 
But unfortunately, that is that. Three points to lead. A defeat for Ipswich. Ease, we begin the next game of the episode here against Preston North End. This is the team we decided to go with. Hopefully, it's good enough to beat Preston. Only time will tell. Let's go. Oh, Hurst cuts in. Really nice player from Hurst. Into Tyler Goodram on his debut for the club. Forces a fantastic save from Freddie Woodman. I don't think they might go for it. No, they're going to tee it up. Then they're going to hit it first time. Blocked. Using his pace here, Marcus Harness. Doing so well. Has no support with him. He cuts in. Marcus Harness. Straight at Freddie Woodman. We've been so dominant in this first half. I can't seem to find the back of the net. Chance of a Preston. They cross the ball in chest. They hit it and tickle with the save. Doing really well. Plays it through. Alahamadi. What a chance this could be for the Iraq forward. 1 0 Ipswich <clears throat> in the 85th minute. Alahamadi with the goal. Big goal. Into the bark. Reese. Emmanuel Reese hits the post. Full time. 1 0 Ipswich. Big result against Preston. A next game here against Middlesbrough. Team is going to go with, obviously, a lot of changes, but I still have faith in the lads. Let's see how we do against Borough. And here, Moore wins the ball back into Sarmentino. Sarmentino, a chance here. Good save. Chance. 1 0 Borough. Their first shot of the game, and they've scored. 1 0 Middlesbrough. Marcus Force with the goal. Davis. Broadhead. Broadhead. What a chance this could be for Nathan Broadhead. Cuts in. Tries to bend a shot. Just wide. Chance of a minute for Ailing. Playing it in. Shot across goal and they've beaten us again. Burroughs second shot of the game and it's 2-0. Riley McGree. Chance of a Nathan Broadhead. Inside. More. Okay, we pull one back. 2-1, Kiefer Moore. Free kick here for Borough. They're going to dink a ball into the middle. Free header and Borough have made it three just, for the, just before half time. 3-1. Oh, Moore wins it off Borough. Chance even more. A mistake from Borough. And we are back in the game. 3-2. Corner kick whipped in. More rises. Unbelievable. Hat-trick for Ipswich. Hat-trick for more, actually. Sorry. But a hat-trick of goals. Three all here against Borough. Unbelievable. Corner. Ball played short. Broadhead. Samantino lunges that ball in. And Moore's diving headers just wide. So close. What a game here at the Riverside. It ends three all. And the more show continues, he has been phenomenal for us. So the final game of the post-commentary segment here is going to be against Bristol City at home as we're looking to try and pick up a win after a draw away to Borough. Let's see what we can do. Chance over Bristol City. Trying to make the ball on the inside. Maybe a shot opportunity tickle with a good save. Well, into more. More. Got to try and lay it off to Hutchinson. Hutchinson! It's 1 0 Ipswich. Amari Hutchinson. Where he could give a Bristol City. With the ball into the box. Not the best of clearance away. Chance here, Mametti. Playing on the inside. Tickle with an important save. Sarantino is so well ranked. Costello, who I've been really impressed with. Playing on the inside more. Needs another option. Good challenge. Oh! Wow! I've never seen an error like that from the AI before. And Ipswich have doubled their lead. And Mari Hutchinson. What a press. Mistake there. Played back to the keeper. He went to try and clear it. Hits off Hutchinson. It's 2-0. 
Trying to help St. Alahamadi. Beats the defence. Tries to go around the keeper. Blocked. But the rebound from a very tight angle. 3 0 Ipswich. Time. Three points for Ipswich. Three goals. Three points. And a clean sheet. Perfect performance. Anyway. Welcome back. Anyway, we begin a game here against Norwich. Obviously, the East Anglia derby. This is the team we decided to go with. Was always difficult picking a starting eleven because we've got so many good players. This is a complete huge battle at the moment in the save. Currently level on points with Norwich. Let's take them on. Come on. Let's go. Comes over Norwich, edge of the box. But her signs does so well and Adelke falls to another important save. Norwich been the better team so far. Okay, corner kick here again. Samantino. Ball whipped in. Moore gets underneath it. It's over the bar. Norwich now cut in. Stacey does so well down the right side. Okay, managed to get a block on the ball here. Norwich just playing it around deep inside the Ipswich half at the moment. Trying to get a shot off here. They're doing well. McLean into Gonzalez. McLean. Fagschnatz finds some space. Saved the near post. Played short here from Norwich. Oh, they do so well, Norwich. Play the ball on the inside. Shot near post. And Norwich with the goal. <sighs> Poor defending from us. And Fagschnatt celebrated in front of the Ipswich fans. 1-0 Norwich. Half time. 1-0 Norwich as we go into the break. <sighs> Pretty even game at Norwich. Take advantage of their chance. Chance of a Norwich. Shot from Gonzalez. Well blocked. Oh, no. Great chance of a Norwich. Oh, good save. Hadelke. Norwich should be 2 0 in front. Hey, that's another quick change. Moore comes off. Hurst is on. Okay, two more changes here for Norwich. Cameron Burgess and Harness come on to replace Morsi and uh, Hutchinson. Anyway, corner kick here to Ipswich. Davis. Whips that ball in. Hurst with the header. And Ipswich. Level late on. George Hurst. 1-1. One, one. That's full time. A one or dry would definitely take that. The game is very even to be fair. Norwich had, some, Norwich had a great chance in the game. Probably the best chance apart from the, you know, uh, apart from the goals really. Well, I'd say a better chance than the goals. Um, but yeah, full time. 1-1. One, one. This game here against Sheffield Wednesday. Another side which obviously aren't doing that well at the moment. Don't have the greatest squad in the championship game that we should win. But doesn't necessarily mean we will win. We've dropped a few points already this season against teams that we are, we should beat on paper. Every game, you know, is the same. 90 minute football game. Three points, a point or zero points. Let's see how we do. Here we go, chance here. Broadhead. Nathan Broadhead. Just like that. 1-0 Ipswich. Nathan Broadhead. A fantastic finish. Great kick in the Sheffield Wednesday. Sam Tickle forced to punch it away. We might be able to break from it. Amari Hutchinson versus Fainwo. Hutchinson's got the pace. Has he got the finish though under pressure? Amari Hutchinson beadled us so well. Ogbo, wow, what a finish. Sheffield Wednesday's first real sight of goal, and Ogbo has came up with something special. One all. Half time, one all. Uh -huh. Into Hutchinson. Amari Hutchinson, another save from Beadle. Harness kicks past Valentin like he's not there. Marcus Harness does so well. Playing it on the inside. Broadhead shot blocked and he goes down. And a penalty given away. Pedersen gives away a penalty. I'm not so sure on it. But I'm not complaining. Right, let's go see the replay. I don't know. I, I need a better angle than that. It's hard to see. But anyway, I'm not complaining. Penalty here. Kifo more of a chance here for Ipswich. Kifo Moore, boom, buries it, 2-1 Ipswich, good penalty, and the substitute, and the top goal scorer for it since other seasons made it 2-1 against Sheffield Wednesday. 
More. Broadhead inside. Burns for three. Where's Burns? Make no mistake this time. And Ipswich have won it against Sheffield Wednesday. A fantastic win. And a huge three points towards hopefully a promotion base season. I've been so impressed with the teams. We have a chance here to maybe actually get another harness in down the left side. Marcus Harness for four. Just like that. 4 1 it switch. Marcus Harness. Sheffield Wednesday don't know what's hitting them at the moment. Marcus Harness. Fantastic stuff from him. 4 1. A phenomenal result. An absolutely phenomenal result. The perfect result. Let's go. Unfortunately, a bad news. I know you guys can't see it. My big head's blocking it. But Taylor is out for three months. The final game of the episode here. We travel away to Huddersfield Town. Um, this team decided to go with, obviously, a few changes. You know, we never really stay with consistent starting 11. I started to go with Humphreys in midfield instead of Luongo. Uh, or Travis. I don't know why. I just, wanted to, I just don't know. You know when you just feel the vibe out of player playing. And I think Humphreys could be really good for us. Chance here for Huddersfield. And they've just missed a glorious chance right there. Rudoni. A player which I really highly rate in real life. Should have made it 1-0 Huddersfield. Just wide. Harness up to Moore. Kifo Moore cuts in. Moore from here. A tight angle goes for it. Wide. Here to our wide men. Jackson and Goodram come on to replace Broadhead and Harness. Corner kick here. Sarmentino. Moore. He does it again, man. 1 0 lip switch. Good round. Gets in down the right side. He completely gets taken out by Ruffles. And Huddersfield are down to 10. Good chance here for Huddersfield. And shot across goal wide. Oh, more into Caden Jackson. Caden Jackson now here for Ipswich Town. Caden Jackson. Oh, a clever finish. 2-0. That's it. Full time. 2-0 Ipswich. A fantastic win. This is where we're going to end off the episode. An insane title race here between Norwich. We will get the season finale in the next episode. All nine games we played. Let's see how we do. But anyway... Thank you all for watching, everybody. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. What an episode so far. What a mad division as well. This is how the bottom end of the table looks like. It's looking like Sheffield Wednesday, QPR and Rotherham are going to be the size that could be relegated. Even though Plymouth aren't out of it, but it's not looking great for them. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. See you all soon.